fire through this. Thank you guys very much. We're here to have some beer, have some fun, and just want to let you know if you stick around for uh, a couple minutes here. So let me just get that. Oh, move that across the way. There we go. If you wait for it, I'll give you a free gift at the end of this. So stick around. Enjoy your beer. Sit back. So as he said, I love sustainable prefab passive house. I really think it should be affordable, and I can discuss this all the time. Um, but I want to get into, again, we're, we're talking about lots of insulation. We're looking at these high performances. We're talking about not using wood fiber around the foundation, but we are talking about putting on the slippers around our projects, putting on a sweater, and then putting on a toque on our roof. We talk about that because we need more insulation because the Passel's principles say so, the Pretty Good House says so, and I love bugging um, Mike and Emily. I think it should be called the sorry, Phenomenally a Good House. I'm on the West Coast, so and I also think we should add a pH to the phrase. I love bugging them. But we talk about this because we're moving towards calling our homes or building zero carbon buildings or net zero. And in that corporates the high performance or passive house principles, which are looking at the lowering the uh, embodied or so the operational energy or the operational carbon of our buildings plus the embodied carbon. And this is where we've got some better solutions. And wood is a better solution. You look at this lovely graph that Chris Magwin and the Builders for Climate uh, Action put out there. You can see that when we move towards a more organic material, we also are ensuring that our buildings are able to dry in both directions, which is something that we need definitely to consider when we're putting on more insulation. So our good friend Peter Moonen says, why wood? Because it's a pretty darn good product, provides phenomenal solutions. And then we look at the why on the exterior. So if we could even do just one inch of exterior insulation, we're doing a really good job of stopping the heat loss through our studs. And again, we're looking at putting that sweater on our buildings. So at 475, you know, we're here to help out the market transition into better buildings. And we've brought in some best in class products to help us out with that. And the Gutex wood fiber insulation is our product that we've been able to service the North American market. Um, many different products, again, similar to what we, we just heard, and I'm sure we'll hear it all through the night. We do carry the rigid board as well. Um, we're stocking the multi-therm 40 and 60 in our warehouses across North America. So again, we're trying to get some product here because again, it's got to come across from across the pond. Uh, we've got a blown in product at BATS as well. And again, you know, the, the product is, is very comparable when it comes to the R value. It's in between 3.5 and 4, depending on the product. So it's very comparable to the to current products. Um, so Gutex is an interesting company. It's 89 years old. So they've kind of figured out this whole wood fiber. They've been doing this dry process for about 15 years. And so that process now has changed where they're using 40% less energy to manufacture the goods. So how if we looked at the wet process, again, it going, you know, all the material is going to the refiner, gets into this like soupy oatmeal mix, and then it goes through and then it has to get dried. Whereas the dry process, the material gets dried, the fibers get dried, it then gets into a, a cyclone, adds the, uh, the resins, that mixture comes out, and then as it's being pressed in, it has the curing stage. And then again, it's cut and shipped out to all the different things. And so what that has, done to the product is it's now made a homogenous board. It's now more accurate in its dimensional stability, a higher strength, again, vapor open, which is key when in our, in our walls. Again, we want to be able to, to dry 40% less energy and then higher wood consumption. And so that now means we can build a really thick board. We can get up to 10 inches thick without any added glue and adhesives. And when we're looking at one of our products, which is Ultratherm, where it's a roof product, again, when we can cut out the tongue and groove joints, we can get some really excellent joints with, uh, with the product. Uh, just again, reiterate again, the, the product of just how great it is because of how vapor open is, where it's allowing for the drawing to the outside and ensuring that again, that we're, we're, we're working our walls and making sure that the building science is, is set in there properly. So I want to focus the next part of this, just looking on some niche markets where the wood fiber really performs quite well. And so that's when we attach it to some mass timber building. So the first project here is in uh, Gibsons, BC. Again, for those that don't know where I'm at, I'm in, in Vancouver. So um, hanging out in, in, in Canada. Um, Mark was involved in the entire project and he created 
a CLT panel. Then he's got his vapor control layer. He puts on the Gutex. And again, we're on the West Coast. So I really prefer and advocate, even though the multi-therm is a WRB, but to put on a, another layer of defense, again, belts and suspenders approach, and then you're putting on your rain screen and your cladding. And so, you know, when we look at the, the cladding details he chose, you've got, you know, a really nice burnt cedar product on one side, reclaimed Douglas fir. And so this entire wall is wood and it's performing and, and will last because of, again, the rain screen approach, the right membranes, and the fact that it can dry in both directions. So if we dive into the roof assembly, you can see it's a four ply CLT, smart vapor control layer, eight inches of Gutex insulation, and then the, uh, the membrane on top to make sure that it's you know, another air barrier in process. Again, you know I love prefab, so there had to be a prefab shot of this project. Here is the roof flying in. Here's the finished uh, project. Uh, we need to add, um, sorry, a shading device to the front of the window there, but really cool green roof. He's had deers on the back hopping up and really cool is that soffit ripple detail is actually just faux. The glass actually goes up, cuts the, uh, the ripple roof. So it's a thermally broken um, distance, really cool, you know, detail. But again, you know, Gutex and the whole process of, of looking towards it, it's a lead platinum uh, project. Heading back to New York, Cold Spring project, simple design. You can see here, we've got the Gutex wrapped around. And this is where, again, we, we, we look at builders looking high performance and advocating really good sequencing. In this case, they've got the Gutex on the roof and the sides. You can see that vapor control layer and air barrier nicely taped off. Again, a little sequencing issue where they added layer, they've cut it so it'll match the rest of the roof line when it's there. We kind of dive into the assembly. You have CLT, vapor control layer, air barrier. And from a cost standpoint, they've used a big thick chunk of the Gutex at square edge. And then they come back with another layer that is a thinner board, but it's tongue and groove. So now this wall assembly is wind tight and you can see that they've added all the bells and whistles of rain screen and furring strips and bug screens and flashings and, and just you know, made it a, a great system. Going to one of my favorite projects, and of course you can see how I've spelled favorite. I put a U in it because this is in Canada and this is the middle of, of, uh, um, sorry, middle of Canada in Saskatoon. And it's a co-housing project. So you had nine homeowners come together, buy a piece of land and um, put the you know, entire process together. And so you can see here, they've done two large pieces of the edge board and then the thin board on the outside that's tongue groove to make sure that it's, it's wind tight. And I showcase this one picture. This is probably one of my most favorite pictures in all of construction. And I just want to illustrate that as we move towards high performance and looking at low body carbons, that we continue to carry on the craft of home building. The, this particular detail, you can see the layers that are involved in the process and the, and the craftspeople are involved. Again, a beautiful building of looking at all the different high performance elements and how you can see the sequencing of materials in this building. It's finished, it's wrapped up. Look at the solar panels on. They have now have a nice, beautiful um, garden, communal garden in the middle. Great project and glad that I had a chance to highlight it. One more before I got to wrap it up. This particular project with new frameworks and hem builders took it to a whole nother level. They actually <clears> have a service cavity, vapor control layer and a panel made out of straw. Then you have the Gutex on the outside to make sure that the, the double stud walls are again, thermally broken, really robust. And of course it's prefab. So great system that they've done and just want to showcase some really cool projects. So for all of you that enjoy or want to enjoy um, high performance as well as uh, wood fiber, guess what? You're going to need yourself a new tool. You're going to need a big tool to be able to cut through it all. So again, we can have some fun with, uh, with getting to the, to the story. See, I know Ben will love it. I just did that picture just for him. I just knew it. So challenges we're facing, again, is uh, dealing with the mainstream practice, getting people converted, and then also getting local manufacturing facilities. So great to see that uh, uh, Timber HP is, is in process for that. So again, I promised you a free gift. Here it is. We have the eBooks. You can go to 475.com if you're in the US, .ca and if in Canada, you can download these free eBooks and you can see how your buildings can incorporate wood fiber, either in a mass timber build or in straw build and give you some really good resources. So there you go. There's my free gift for coming tonight. Now you can take a go. And of course I spelled free wrong. 
incorrectly. You can always look at all of the, uh, the information we have on our website. The blog's just, again, lots of research and lots of data and stories for you to get carried away with. I'm trying to find, where do I find Gutex? Again, go to the website, put in a request for a quote, and someone within the 475 team will be there to help you. Lots of people here to, uh, you know, to make sure we're there for you. That's it. Thank you for my time and cheers to you all.